Hi, so I was looking at some old footage that I had filmed long ago, and I came across some some video clips that I had never made use of. I planned to, um, but I just probably filmed too much and wasn't able to to use. And one of them uh, was really old, almost a year and a half, and it was a it's a battle that um, has brought a little bit of, of laughter, um, just seeing how bad I was, um, using, uh, in honor of Brian, it was Smokey and Hornet, which I have some videos, older videos, um, with that combination, um, unfortunately not with the zombie paint, I just put the zombie paint because there's a, a chump on this game who plays Smokey, Hornet, and zombie paint, uh, yeah, so, Let's get into the video. Um, I think it's amusing to see um, how much um, I am different from them then and now, and I hope that you will enjoy. And you can feel free to, to make fun of, of me as much as you want. It is kind of cool to see these old video clips because they are they are kind of nostalgic. Um, I didn't realize that I've spent basically 80% of my time with M3s. I thought it was this long, this long, endless journey to get M3s, but it took about five months. And since then, it's been M3 time. So, anyways, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to dive in and uh, see how this, how this combo does. All right, Smoky Hornet. Let's see how we do. Now, this footage is very old. Actually filmed on April 12th of 2018. The year and a half ago. Uh, I think this was one of my first uh, M3 kits that I got, so this is probably an M3, maybe 3 out of 20. Um, I actually bought the Legend kit, and then I bought the Smoky Wasp kit. No, that's not true. I bought the Hunter Smoky Cut kit, and then the Wasp Freeze kit. So I had, at this point, I had Smoky, Rail, and Freeze. Little did I know that Rail and Freeze were going to be the that I used the most. Uh, previous, I, my highest used turret was uh, Fire and Viking. Um, and then Thunder and um, Viking were the second. Thunder and Titan as well. Um, but at this point in time, I had those micro upgraded 10 out of 10, so I couldn't get them at this rank. Um, so I was waiting. And in the meantime, I got to use Smokey and all of these other hulls and turrets. So as you can tell, we're our, our team is wrecking face, and our, my team is just going to absolutely dominate. Um, I did look at the end, but I'm just interested to see how my play has changed. Um, and one, the, the thing that I noticed uh, just initially, oh, this is one of those meteor boxes days. Um, notice all the dictators. Uh, these are the days when overdrives we're the good kind, where you get all of your drugs. So dictators were used to get golds, not mammoths. But one thing that you will notice is I use uh, supplies a lot less. Um, there's a point earlier, I think it already passed, where, see, I could be using speed, but I'm not. And I used a repair kit. Yeah, so my, my use of supplies just, this was the period where I started to use supplies more. And it's just pretty bad. Like essentially, I used my double armor after I was had been hit without the double armor. And if I'd had the double armor before, I would have had basically double the health right now. And I'm missing shots. Um, Smoky and Hornet's difficult enough. Shout out to Brian for being a boss with it. But um, at this point, I hadn't played XPVP very much. So my ability to drive and shoot accurately, as well as driving and shooting on the run, or driving while shooting, uh, was very limited. So as you, if you watch, you'll see there's a lot of misses throughout this battle, uh, just simply because I wasn't used to. Now see, normally, nowadays, okay, good, I did use the speed boost. I would pop speed boost first. Now this is essentially a waste of time, me going back here, because I'm spending all this time driving. Yes, I am fast. But if I was smart, I would have gone down into the valley. 
This does give me a flanking spot, but then again, I'm not, like, what am I going to do with it? I could be using my double damage here. But I'm choosing not to. Now, this guy does have protection, and I could use my double damage, but I'm choosing not to. Because I wasn't used to using supplies at this point. So now I have three different supplies activated and ready to go, but I'm not using any of them. And I miss a shot. See, I could have lit that Dictator Thunder up, at least had another kill, but because... At this point in time, I, yeah, my supply usage was pretty bad. Uh, figure I'd been playing for about five months. So, um, see, they're, they're, those are the good overdrives. And I tried to use it on him, but I think I missed. Um, those are the overdrives I like. Um, I don't like our current overdrives. I like some of them. Do I? Actually, I don't know about that. Um, so you see a freeze dictator. You don't see those anymore. Dictators had the benefit of going for gold. See, normally I would target that guy with the double damage and no armor because he's technically an easy kill. Um, now, see, I could use my supplies here. I should be just going double armor and repair kit right now. Um, but for whatever reason, I'm choosing not to. Come on, double armor, repair kit. Double armor. See? What a waste of a repair kit. That's so bad. It's actually painful to watch. As a light hole, you've got to use the armor as your primary drug. Figure your your health is very low. Especially when you're running with a flag. Yeah. Yeah, I, I deserve to die there. So we're up 6-1. to one. The battles are actually longer. Notice the battle is to... Now see, I need to go double damage here, but I'm not. So somebody else gets the points. And I still haven't used any supplies. Now I know this was a different world, but do you notice that my, that my opponents are using supplies? I am not. Um, which is why I'm struggling a lot. Now there's a repair kit box there that I should get. But instead I choose to waste one of my own. This is an interesting, I actually haven't watched this video through um, until now, um, and it is interesting just to see how I play differently. I See, I spent a lot of time playing uh, Polygon and Island games. Um, neither required a lot of driving. Polygon helped, but at this point I hadn't really started playing XPVP very much. Uh, I had been playing maybe a little bit. It was always last place, much like now, but um, yeah, at this point I hadn't started. See, I need that double damage. I'm molting, essentially, if I'm just doing half damage to everybody. Uh, but XP, XPPP was what really improved my driving, and I, at this point, hadn't really started. Um, so I miss a lot of shots. But point was, with saying that, was uh, Island and Polygon don't typically use supplies. And I didn't ever do these battles, the supply battles. Um, they didn't have challenges, and the missions I just didn't really care very much about. So, um, using these using buttons to gain an advantage wasn't something that I was used to. See, so okay, well now I have full supplies. There's a guy right there, but I just either I don't see him or I can't hit him. And I'm just shooting at the wrong guy. Literally, the flag is right there. And I have an opportunity to take some shots at him. And I'm choosing to not do. And now my shot's up. I had the chance there. Um, but I didn't. So, in some ways, I'm playing this combo correctly. I'm driving around, keeping back away. And look at the score difference. I mean, I've got 174 points. I mean, this is sort of, see, you want to go double armor right now. Nope, don't go double damage. Well, I got lucky, because when you are, when you spawn in and there's an enemy nearby, as a hornet or a wasp, you never go double damage, unless you know you can one-shot them. Because there's, the odds are greater that they will one-shot you than you will one-shot them. Because you're using hornet. I went for the flip, didn't work. I don't know what this character's doing. 
Uh, my frame rate is struggling now. If you notice, um, a couple things. There's a Bandicam logo on the top, and at the ba at the bottom right is the uh, minimized bar. So you need to go double armor, and I'll have the opportunity to have full drugs, but I chose not to. Um, this is before that I had the actual version. So, okay, this should be an easy kill because he doesn't have double armor, and I've got double damage. So that guy should be an easy kill. Now my frame rate is struggling. It's just the world that I lived in back in those days. This was a year and a half ago. So I am able to get the kill there. Six seconds left. Run into a teammate. And the game will end right there. Okay. So, ten kills, eight deaths. Um, I'll do a quick debrief, and then uh, we'll end the video. Alright, so there's the, the final gameplay. I hope you enjoyed. Um... It was a lot of it was a lot of fun to to watch it. That, that was actually the first time that I'd watched it through um, live, and it was it was it was enjoyable. Um, there were a lot of missed shots. Um, my driving was sometimes bad, and and my supply usage. But um, yeah, it's just it's just kind of cool to see how how you improve and uh, and I, I I enjoy I enjoy the thought of Smokey and Hornet. Um, I tend not to enjoy it actually in battle because I I miss shots and I completely a chump but yeah so i hope you enjoyed and i think i have a couple a couple more of these old footage and i'd like to just drag them out um yeah just to see what what battles were like in those mid-tier ranks so thanks a lot for watching